I'm Greg Corbin and I'm here with Words, Beats, and Life, Alternative Spring Break. And I am currently with Stephen Teller of the Ubuntu Fine Art. Thank you, thank yeah, you. It's uh, a welcome pleasure. Welcome to Ubuntu Fine Art. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ubuntu is a South African philosophy that breaks down very simply to I am because you are, the ability to see yourself in somebody else. I take it a bit further and it's the universal bond of sharing that connects all of humanity. I use the images in the gallery to facilitate conversation and question that ideally can lead somebody to a new question which broadens their humanity and mine in the process. We're, we're looking around, we're, we're seeing all these amazing photos that look like they come from all over the world. Where do you get your inspiration from? Um, my moniker is the Time Thief. I believe that as a photographer, uh, part of my task is to archive stories that I absorb at a particular time for later. Um, oftentimes, the inspiration comes from the spirit that I'm feeling at a time that I'm there. I've had the privilege of traveling to 18 different countries, wow. so I've been around a lot of different people. You've been to 18 different countries. Yes. Could you share with us some of the countries that you've been to? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know them all the top of my head, but I'll go through the ones that we have currently on display in the gallery. And that's Abu Dhabi, Barbados, Bali, Brazil, Paris, a lot of Kenya, three U.S. national parks, two shots of Germantown, Philadelphia, and our bestseller, Subway Surfer, is a shot of a young man on the Broad Street line of Philadelphia. You're a black artist, entrepreneur, small business owner, running a fine art studio, or galleria, so to speak, with all your work in it. Are you the only one doing this, or is there more? Until somebody can prove me wrong, <laughs> I am the only one in the world that's a black person that owns their own fine art photography gallery. Um, and I'm probably the only one that operates in a location that I do. That's not happening. You know, but I do invite you to tell me that I'm wrong. And <laughs> um, I don't think you'll find it. I personally don't think you'll find it. I've done a ton of research and you know the people that I talk to in the circles that I roll with, I say, this is, this is my claim, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm stamping my claim. Somebody gonna tell me I'm not, you're gonna have to give me some receipts. When you got a unique idea, and I, like, I did my due diligence, it wasn't fly by night. This is really four years in the making, you know? Um, I got the lease on this building in 2018 while I was in South Africa. They called me and said, you got the building. 2019 comes, okay, I'm supposed to open, but we got building delays and then COVID smacks everything down for two years. Those three years that I had to research, do like really do my due diligence allows for me to understand how I'm processing my images, the paper that I'm putting them on, building collaboration with my printer. I know all of the scientific specs of the work that's produced. So anytime that somebody comes into the gallery and has a question, I can answer it flawlessly, which then allows people to want to come back um, they now have a good interaction with me and we're conversing, you know, mm. as opposed to me trying to sell you something. Mm. So is this is a for-profit business. This is a high-end luxury fine art gallery that really facilitates community conversation. And on the back of that community conversation, we just need to pay our rent every month. We've sold in six months 38 pieces. We've only had to ship two. Think about that. So in six months, we, th we have various sizes across the range, across the spectrum, right? So we sold something for $200, $150, and we sold something for $15,000. We haven't had to ship anything, except for two pieces, one to New York and one to Virginia. So that means the community that I'm in, that everybody told me wasn't going to, couldn't afford to support it, mm -hmm. is supporting me, Wow. right? If, oh, if, it's cliche, but if you build it, they will come, so to speak. For young people, what do you want them to get out of this? What are some goals you have in mind for the young people that might traverse this or see this when this goes live on the internet? Mm -hmm. um, we have to better narrate what we're giving to whether it's community or young people as a way that we're kind of facilitating their future progression. Right, so are we telling them the question to ask or are we giving them the experience for them to ask their own questions? 
I rock with the ladder. If you come in here on, our, on all of our nameplates, we have all of our shot settings. Any photographer can come in here and know exactly what I did. Exactly what I did. I'll tell them my paper, I'll tell them the printer, I'll tell them where to get it from. I'm not hot enough and I'm not, there ain't nothing that's mine. The camera is not mine. They didn't only make it for me, it's a couple pennants, but all of these things are teachable. And if it's teachable, I personally believe a luxury fine art gallery should be in every hood in the city. That's my very passionate belief. What's the saying? Uh, you, te you, 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 you give a man a fish, he eats for a day. You teach a man how to fish, he eats for a for lifetime. lifetime. Yeah. So if I can, uh, my professional life, I'm a back-end systems engineer, I do a lot of troubleshooting, right? Part of troubleshooting is asking questions, looking at log files seeing where the error is, and a lot of times the error is all the way down in some space hidden, or the error is, well, you need to just clean your cookies in the cash. But you gotta try both. You gotta look for the error. Right, Troubleshoot right. the problem. It's no different in life when you're asking the question. I'm just trained on going through all of the steps. We want, ideally, young people to think about it in layers. And you attack your goals in layers while also understanding you may not have the most money. Your mom might be a crackhead. This thing might be against you. This thing might be against you, but your disposition is your own, mm. right? So you can have a sunny disposition. You can be positive, even if the world around you is falling down. Life needs active participation. Living doesn't require anything. Who, what do you want? It's funny, because that approach reminds me of what Khalil Gibran says, right? Like Khalil Gibran is this amazing uh, writer, Arab poet. And he said, children don't come, come here for you, they come through you. And it sounds like your approach, even with your daughter, is about perspective and creating an environment of curiosity, which I think goes hand in hand with learning. And this, is, this, this will be shown to young people who are gonna be curious enough, right? What are some other things that you would like for them to be curious about when it comes to their human development, their um, intellect, their life. Like, what are some things you think that really will benefit them? Agency, realizing that you are the commodity early, mm -hmm. like now. Um, the more skills you have, the more marketable you are. Mm -hmm. Could you go deeper? Yes. If you can do, I, I'm a software engineer. I know how to grow tomatoes. I can cut hair. I can um, uh, 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 be, a crew, be a cop or a CEO right now if I wanted to, right, that's what right. my degree is in. Um, I can also be an entrepreneur. I'm a photographer. I can sew. I can probably live on myself, by myself in the wilderness for a couple of days. I can make a fire. I have all of these skills wow. that build my agency, right? I, I understand my agency and I am the commodity. I'm the one with the skills, not the corporations, not these entities and all this other stuff. So what you're saying is, is so powerful because you're capturing history, you're capturing that time. And I think there's something powerful about being part of the, the system of memory, like for our humanity. And I think you traveling around the world, capturing these things, they're gonna, they're gonna make people more aware of what's out there. Because social media doesn't allow active participation past scrolling and pushing a button, which I have no knock to. I love social media as well too and I understand the balance that it presents. But if there was one last thing you wanted to say to the young people, to the adults, to the community that's gonna see this video, what is it you want them to walk away with? People are great. The systems that we all live in really leave something to be desired. The more sunny that you can see life, the easier life is. Mm -hmm. No. Not everything is gonna be good. Yes, things are gonna happen that aren't palatable, hard, tough. Right, right. Why is it any more harder for you than somebody else? This, I, the philosophy of Ubuntu says that it's not. The thing that you deal with, no matter how you describe it, is just as hard for you as my thing is for me. Yeah. Your thing might be a hangnail, my thing might be my mom died, right? Why we compare and hurt? You hurt, I'm hurt. I can console you because you got a hangnail. You can console me because my mom died. Mm -hmm. 
at the end of the day is how positively can you go about life? And if you can stay just a little bit past half full mm -hmm. on your glass, right? Just a, ain't nobody saying you gotta be Jolly Joe and be, you know what I'm saying? Like all this extra stuff is, it's just not that bad. It's just not that bad. It's just not that bad. It's light at the end of the tunnel. It's light at the end of the tunnel. It's light at the end of the tunnel. And when you the commodity and you know that you all that, being positive is second nature. Well, I just want to <laughs> yeah. say on behalf of Words, Beats, and Life and the Alternative Spring Break, thank you so much for giving us your time, giving us your presence, and sharing your gifts with us and your knowledge and wisdom. We truly appreciate thank it. Thank you, Greg. I thank appreciate you so much, you, man. Bro. Thank you, Greg. Yes, indeed. Oh,